I don't know whether to make this a sad video or a happy video, but 2K17 servers are shutting off in a month, and so this is gonna be the last chance that we get to play it. What a garbage ass game. <laughs> Over the last few months, people have been tweeting at me, maybe trying to convince me, or they've been saying things like, AJ man, 2K17 was pretty underrated. It actually wasn't that bad. In fact, it was a good 2K. Now, I refuse to let y'all change the narrative, man. I thought we established as a community unanimously that this was the worst 2K of all time. I mean, it took 2K18 coming out, which was truly abysmal, to beat it as the worst 2K of all time. But 17 is right there. It's next up on the list, guys. Hold on, though. It's not all bad. There were some fantastic memories had on this game. I mean, after you spent the 20 minutes to get past all the Paul George loading screens, you finally got into the main menu. I remember when booters were just kicking people off teams, and people were losing because their players were being booted in a $250,000 tournament, and 2K didn't know what to do, so they just said nothing. But when you scroll down and you click triangle on my career, man, nothing but fantastic memories from the players you guys remember, like the 6-6 post score, my tiny slasher, all my sharpshooters, my playmakers, man. Nothing comes close, man. The memories and the videos I've made with these players. They're gonna be gone in one month. And all that's gonna be left of the game is like my GM, play now, and maybe offline my career. <laughs> A tribute, guys, drinks up to a time where you didn't have to spend day and night for like two weeks straight just to grind your badges. Hey, I'll give him this for sure. The my court was definitely more customizable than it was in 2K19. Although I never really appreciated Justice just popping in without a text or a call. 2K17 was the days where I was skinny agent, right? It was the days where LD2K was still working for NBA 2K, and it was the days where Rachel Demita was still doing 2K TV. Each year, NBA 2K takes your my career to the next level. And I'm gonna keep it honest with y'all, bro. I never really watched 2K TV. Back in the 2K17 days, man, all of the gameplay was just cheese. There was no real skill to it. Shooting was super easy. Dribbling was very, very abusive. Like, as a sharpshooter, this was my favorite move. And it took 2K like four months to patch it. You just drive, click L2, and boost back in this direction. And they patched the living soul out of it. But before they did, it was so, so overpowered. I used to destroy people on 1v1s with a sharpshooter doing that. I remember. This was back before all the my players felt so limited. Like now in 2K, they make you feel like you can only do one thing. You can only shoot, or you can only dribble, or you can only rebound. But it's like this 6 2 speed boost and sharpshooter could not only speed boost and dribble quickly, but overpowered, overpowered shooting and with incredibly overpowered brick wall screens. And then you even came with decent dunk animations for these characters. All right, man, let's hop into the part, bro. Let's see what these guys are talking about. Now, once you got past the Paul George stuff, you loaded into your my court, you had to load into the park, and that took sometimes an additional 20 minutes. You would think the game is stuck, you'd have to close app and then reload it, and then close app, reload it, and close app one more time before they finally let you in. The 2K19 equivalent is when you join into someone's park, and it puts you in a random park, not the right one. You join in, it's not the right one. You join in again, and it's not the right one! Apparently, 2K has had a generational issue with just, in a timely manner, getting us into the desired destination. It shouldn't be that challenging. I'd be remiss if I didn't remind you that they just took the 2K16 parks, reskinned them, and put them in 2K17. They, they slightly tweaked the setting, you know? Instead of it being sunny, it's sunset in Sunset Beach now. And they just didn't add any new parks, none. And the one time they tried, they called it Park After Dark and it was a disaster. It was so bad that the rappers and producers promoting it just deleted tweets. They didn't wanna be associated with it. The servers was trash, the latency was insane. And do you guys remember the booters and delayers on the 25K court on the high rollers, my guys? Oh, don't even remind me. On another note, there's no sprint button, so it kinda just takes forever to get places. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody talks about it, but it was definitely a welcome addition to 2K18. Just being able to sprint in the my park. I have no idea why the background noise is so loud. You'd think the water was just swishing, swashing across my feet, but it's all the way down there. How can I hear it so well from here? Hey, I'll put it like this. 2K17 was the most broken 2K of all time. 2K18 was the most boring 2K of all time. 2K18 was just great everything. While we unanimously decided this was the worst, when 2K18 came out, bro, everybody's opinion changed. Was, was good! Hi, everybody! With your young boys. No, that wasn't what I was trying to do, man. Yo, I'm why, why, why are you still playing 2K17? I gotta ask. 
Why are you still playing 2K17? Uh, because I suck at 2K18 and 19, and so I don't really have a choice. Oh, both your teammates quit, man. <laughs> So you can so you can cheese with a okay all right hey send it right here man he wants his ankles stuck damn you gonna spam square my guy oh I thought you was better than that good step back good step back bruh <laughs> <laughs> what a trash ass player hey on a side note 2K we need that hesitation oh, is this actually real agent? Back, back no it is not the real agent this is a this is a, it's a Defense on this game was the worst of any game. It is not. It does not feel like you're in control of your guy. You're being pulled in so many different directions. You basically have to switch the who to guard off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your gameplay on this it was cheese and ass. I'll never forget. Hold on. Look how fast momentum is though. What a sharpshooter. That's crazy. I got you. I got you. Oh, my bad. I clicked next to the wrong guy. Hold on. Bill got the ball. Hold on, man. He's doing something with it. Oh, okay. Nice. Nice. What's good? Why you not on 19? Oh, I'm bored. Yeah. You're bored? 19 gets boring. It, it becomes trash. How about this game? Nah, I love this game. It's kind of cheesy. <laughs> kind of? Oh, my God. Literally an ankle breaker every two seconds. <laughs> I hate this jump shot. That's what I hate. Oh yeah, no, definitely. It was the jump shot's fault. What? Cash. Oh, that's kind of green up. Cash. Like, I mean, I, I still have it. I never lost it's it, man. It's about that time. That is so toxic. Oh my god. Yeah, your jump shot is kind of sus. Oh my. Yes, sir. Take it out of the coach. Do you watch, do you watch a lot of YouTube? Nope. Nah, I'm playing. I saw you click square there for sure, for sure, for sure. One time. <laughs> Yo, I, I promise I'm not that bad of a dribbler. I just don't know what I was thinking when I quit my animations. I had the worst behind the back ever. My moving crossover was hideous. Uh, everything about that player. Back in 17, I had no idea how to dribble. Like, if I did a momentum dribble, it was like an experience. Like, I, I that was rare for me. Oh my, I forgot how much I hated these loading screens, dude. Everything just takes so long to get to. And in 2K19, is the polar opposite. Loading screens is quick. You can load into the ante up in like five seconds flat. I'm not gonna lie, if I was looking for a broken game that was also really fun to play, my choice would not be 17. It'd easily be 15. When people were coming out with all these glitches, etc., etc., to break the game, and 2K never really did much about it, so people just kind of took over. That game, I feel like, was a much better experience and had way more content throughout the year. Plus, back then, Park was new to everybody. And so the people playing Park was having a lot of fun doing it, and... In 2K15, my team was in his prime. So if you're just looking at the overall game as a whole, 2K15 would just in every which way, bow, bow, grr. So this is how this is how my ranking system looks like. 2K18, the worst. It's just boring. Nobody likes playing boring video games. 2K17, right under that. It was broken, but it had its moments. It was still really broken though. And then you have the games like uh, 2K12, I'd put right underneath that. And then underneath that, I'd put like 2K14 and then 15. And then I might even slot in 16. And then uh, 11, right? I'd say 11 was a really, really good one. Oh, I forgot to mention 13. 13, throw that one in the trash. Let's, hold on. Kobe, I missed. 13 was one of the worst 2Ks of all time. Don't try and convince me otherwise. The game was broken with the spin dunks. The animations were all canned. Everything about that game was wrong. But it was the introduction to my team, so there's that. To be honest, this game was the one that just blew my channel up. Like, I grinded and grinded. I literally did not leave my house how much I was grinding. That's kind of how all the weight gains started, by the way. <laughs> And back then I was skinny agent, but I wouldn't trade it away for anything, man. There was just so much to be angry about in this game. For all the bad moments and gameplay features this game had, it had a lot of fantastic moments too. I, I dropped some of my favorite videos of all time playing this game. Like when I was trolling Swante and things got ridiculous. Yeah, you playing a PS4 with a goddamn GameCube controller. <laughs>
Imagine a dum dum, dum dum. You know how they say Fron Fron? You're dum dum. Or like the time where I put Phantom on the other team and told him to sabotage the game to get reactions from the tryhards he was playing with. At least, that, at least yeah, try. Try. Hello. Oh, at least you oh, saw his butt. Fuck your bum ass. Bro. Bro. And you be and you. Y'all think I just be blocking niggas for no reason? You standing out, bro. When I was going crazy dropping my 100 point games on pro am. Too cool's gonna drive the ball up. At this point, everybody's looking for me. Finds me open in the corner, and what were you thinking? You don't leave legends open. As much as I wanted to discard this game and never see it again once 2K18 came out and I was tired of playing 2K17, some of my favorite moments on YouTube were playing this game. And for that, you gotta show it a little bit of love. I, I don't know, man. I, I, don't, I don't plan on playing this game anymore, but it is gonna suck to know that even if I wanted to, the servers wouldn't be on. In one month's time, they're gonna shut it down and all of it is gonna be gone. I can't access none of my players anymore. If I wanted to hop on and record a video, the only way to do it is to watch the videos to relive the moments. I'll say this, in every way, 2K19 is a better product than 2K17. When it comes to offense, when it comes to defense, when it comes to gameplay in general, when it comes to the servers, when it comes to the park events, uh, when it comes to Pro-Am, when it comes to the neighborhood, in general, across the board, in every which way, 2K19 is better. So instead of reminiscing and thinking about the good moments of the past, I'm gonna try and make some of those moments in 2K19. I'm gonna drop some bangers this year. If you guys are not subscribed, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Drop a like, man. If you haven't, click on one of these two videos to watch them right there, or the card above. Just, just know I'll miss you, 2K17.